What's up today my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is showing you guys the best budget squad you could build right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So you see right here, I actually build the team for you. A lot of these players that I have and I built this team on are the players that EA gave me for free. A lot of them are, some you could purchase and as long as you're grinding out the game and getting your coins, you won't it won't be that hard to purchase some of these players that i'm going to show you and if you want to purchase these particular players you can always purchase other ones and place them depending on what the players that you want and the team that you want to build right so this team right here the reason i call it the best budget squad is because a lot of them are free as long as you're grinding out the game a majority of these players are free so a lot some of these other ones i put in like this right guard and left guard just as an examples you could you could put a higher overall if you want depending on what your example budget be but i wouldn't really focus that much on on creating the best online and let you just have tons of coins and want to build it but it's just more to even out to make it more affordable for you guys so you have to empty out your pockets when it comes to coins right or waste all your coins on them and, and save your coins for other players so we're gonna start off with the qb you see right here we got jim plunkett you can actually get them for playing hispanic solos there's there's about like five players they're gonna offer you guys and they're all gonna go up to 88 overalls and all those players are goon this jim plunkett right here i'm telling you right now a lot of people are using them you know some people are not because there's other players too that you could get um for cheaper but i'm i only add them because he's free and you could get them right away but keep in mind once you get to level 41 you're gonna get a 92 overall josh allen and he is free and to me he's gonna be one of the best qbs in the game i'm actually gonna use him once i get him and i'm already level 37 so i'm i'm right around the corner for 41 i saw say about maybe another week or so i'll have him so once i get him, like i said i'm gonna add him to the squad so he's gonna be another good budget beast too and jim pluckett just for right now once you get him up to an 88 overall Look at 79 speed, 91 throw power, 80, 86 short actually, 81 mid, 84 deep, 88 throw under pressure, 85 throw under run, and 86 play action, and he's 6'3". That card right there is very good just to start off with, and you could go out there and win a lot of games. I'm telling you right now, just this squad alone, 87 overall, 87 offense, 87 defense, that's all you need to go out there and start winning games when it comes to head-to-head, -head, especially solos and soul battles. That'll be even easier, right? But you don't need the greatest team people want the greatest team just because they want the greatest team it does help out you know just a little bit more of course but as long as you're focused and you know how to you know play the game here and there you don't have to have, you don't even have to be the best you're gonna go out there and win games and i'm pretty sure you guys know that then you got this free ezekiel elliott i filled all the positions because all you need is 27 players in order to build a team, right? In order to go out there and start uh, playing solos and start playing head-to-head -head and all that stuff. But if you want backups, you go ahead and add those two. I just add the players on the squad uh, to complete the team. But anyways, you get, the, you get you guys can get this free Ezekiel Elliott, which is a goon, right? He, as long as you have all four players in the lineup, which I don't have. Or do, do I have all the four? Yeah, I do have all the four players in the lineup. So they're only giving me one. Oh, because I didn't add. I don't think I add some of the other... Yeah, because you have all four players into the lineup. So I got one here, two. Yeah, I should have all four. Yeah, I have Roscoe Douglas. So it's gonna give you guys plus two speed. All right. So we'll go over that right now in a minute. But I don't I don't apparently I don't have it activated. But I have everything in there. But yeah, so you're gonna get one speed right here and then one speed right here. Yeah. Oh. Why is why is the other one not activated? I must have not, some, something must be going on, but I'll activate in a minute. But anyways, you get them up to uh, plus two speed. And I like the way, so it's not going to end when the most fear program is going to end. You're still going to have those chemistry boosts. It's not just for the most fear program. I like the fact of how, how they boosted up those stats just by having those chemistries. So that's actually cool. So his car is going to ha actually have 91 speed. And if you have a theme team, which I'm not even going to get into right now because this is more about budget. But yeah, you're going to get up to 91 speed, 80 acceleration, 80 agility. Look at that 87 truck and 85 brake tackle with that 92 jumping. And he's free. I'm This is the halfback. Well, I, I'm using Emma Smith now because they dropped him because I'm running a theme team. But if I if they didn't drop Emma Smith and he wasn't or he wasn't a cowboy, I'll be running Ezekiel Alley only because he is a goon at that position and he's free. Then you got Keyshawn Johnson, right? Keyshawn Johnson, you could get any of the four captains. I picked him because if I'm going to be running a, running a budget budget squad right now, I'm going to go with Keyshawn Johnson because how tall he is. He's a 91 overall. All right, here we go over here. 89 speed. Look at it. 6'4", 91 jumping, 90 catching, 91 catch traffic, 89 spectacular, 90 short route, 90 medium route, and 88 deep route. You're not going to lose with him. This guy right here is going to make plays. I use him quite a bit on my main squad. Just to let you guys know that I use them on my main squad. And if you don't want to believe me, let's go here. 
top squad, which which I didn't have activated at first, but I'm gonna show you. Look at he's right here. I have him right here. And if you really want to think about that, Tyler Lockett is kind of like a budget beast too, right? I, I just made this squad just to oh wrong one. Just just to make it more affordable for you guys. But you guys can move maneuver around and add other players that are more affordable and uh the, the budget squad will be even better because there's a lot of affordable players. But like I said, I made this team just basic and uh, good enough in order for you guys to go out there and grind and win. And then you got this Chase Claypool. Tall, fast, and he's free. Tall, fast, and he's free. See his attributes. Look at that. 90 speed, which he's going to go up to 92 speed. Once I, oh no, I'm sorry. 91 speed. Once I figure out why I don't have the other one activated, something's going on. I'll figure it out right now. But look at, he's 6'4. He's the same height as Johnson. And he's actually um, just as fast as him. With 93 jumping, 92 spectacular. Look at that. 90, yeah, 93 jumping, 92 spectacular, 89 short route, 85 medium route, 87 deep route. So this card right here is very good. So you got all these budget beasts at your disposal to start off your team. Then you got Jim Taylor, which is going because even when they kick it to him, when, when you're out there playing and grinding head to head and they try to scum kick it to him, I'm trying to run. I returned a lot of uh, kicks with him. Then when it comes to Mike Dicker, you could pick him. I only picked him because he's a 90 overall. And not just that, he's not he's going for about 100 k but then he drops between 100 k 90 k and stuff like that. You, you can actually snipe him. He got 87 speed, right? So to me, he'll be a good budget beast. But if you don't want him, you guys can actually get like Evan Ingram, which is the 88 overall. I think he's going for about 60K. So he's actually good too because Evan Ingram got 87 speed too. Uh, he might even have 88 speed and he's, and he's 6'3". Or he might even be 6'4", Evan Ingram. So he'll be a good budget beast too. But this guy, but uh, Mike Dicka's stats is a lot better when it comes to uh, the tight end position. But you could, you could go between a Mike Dicka or Evan Ingram, whatever it is, whatever you could afford. But I just put that in as an example, right? Then you got Leo Carr. So the, so the linemen, like I said, I just, I just maneuvered around and put like, you know, so, some 87s, some 83s, just to make it look a little bit decent because it's affordable. But the reason why I put this Tyler Biodaz in, because we, because for an 87 overall, he gets Identifier for 2 AP. And Identifier is good. Not not too many linemen gets Identifier for 2 AP. It usually goes for 3 AP and up. And a lot of, I would recommend Identifier for you guys to have on your squad because you always want to know where your opponent's at when you're, when you're out there grinding, right? Then you got Malik Hooker, which is free. He was from the last competitive pass. And I'm pretty sure once EA figures out these make rights, everyone will end up with a Malik Hooker because that's the way EA should. I might end up with another Malik Hooker, which I don't need. But if that's the way they're going to do it in order to give everyone a Malik Hooker, I'd rather them do it because it's EA's fault that no one didn't get it. So best be, best, best believe that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to get it. And he's definitely a top player at that position. And he's a but the reason I consider him a budget beast because he's free. Right? Look at that. 88 hit power, 91 speed, coming at 6'1", 92 jumping. So all his stats are actually pretty good. I haven't added no strategy cards, but at the end, I'm going to add strategy cards. So if you guys happen to want to add them, you're going to see how juiced this team could get more. Then you got this right out, right outside linebacker, Jonathan Casillas, which is good and he's fast. Bobby Wagner, which is free from the season pass. You got uh, Kiko Alonso. All these linebackers are fast. And EA has given all these line, all these players right here, all these five players are free. Even Harrison Smith was free, but they don't have the Gridiron Guardian um, field pass no more. So I don't even want to really mention him, but he is cheap if you want to go buy him. That's why I put him as a budget beast. But when the field pass was available, you could actually get him for free. And I actually, you know, I completed the set, but I actually got a lot of them for free. A lot of these 88s, right? But all these cars right here, man, they're all fast and they're all good. And like I said, all these five, you could get them for free. And this one, you're able to before, but now you have to buy them, but he's cheap. But I'm telling you right now, you guys already know about Harrison Smith. His animations are insane when it comes to uh, usering him. And even if you don't use him, um, his animations are insane. Then you got Marshawn Lattimore. I added him to it. I wanted to add a decent cornerback, right, which is one of the newer ones. He's not going for that much. You could probably purchase him for about 130, 140K. But he'll be one of the more um, ones that you'll probably spend a little bit extra coinage on. But he's worth having every single bit because all his stats are, are, are all around decent. Look at that. Press, zone, man, speed, everything. And 91 jumping. Everything else is pretty good. Then he gets tip drill and pick artists for 1 AP apiece. So you can't beat that. Then you got the Sauce Gardner. Robert Quinn, DeForest Buckner, which is the goon, Derek Brown. Some of you guys can't get him. I got him for free. But the reason I put him here is just an example that, that as long as you have the DeForest Buckner, you're good. A, a, you, all you need is one decent, good defensive tackle, and he'll do the job. This right here, you could put any uh, decent 
defense tackle you want. You can put an 83, 84, whatever you want. It's just more be a feel for a filler. But as long as you have one good defensive tackle, you guys be good. So that's why I got DeForest Buckner because he's the best budget beast defensive tackle that I know of right now. Then this Chase. So I put Chase Young, right? But I would actually use his 88. I didn't have him. So I, I put this uh, his 83 just so, as a reminder for me to let you guys know. This this 83 overall, I'm telling you right now, I used them. I used them. And this guy, don't, I don't, don't tell me how, but he actually runs off the edge crazily. So that's why I pick his actual 88 that they have in the game right now instead because I, I know it's even more goonish. So if you guys can't get his 88, his 83 will work just as fine. So your disc D line right here is good enough to go out there and compete on time right now. You're going to make plays out there. Your defense will, will function pretty well with this D line. It may not be the greatest, but you're going to believe it or not, it, it is going to make a difference. I'm telling you guys right now, I actually have an 84 overall trey where's he at that they actually still put him on my top squad i'm gonna show you guys right now where is he at right here there's trey henderson hendrickson don't tell me how but this guy and he has a higher card right now but this 82 overall i think he's an 84 right but at the uh left end he's just showing him as an 82 he was causing havoc on on, on uh, other people's squad don't tell me how even as an 84 overall then you got this rascal douglas maybe this is the reason why it's not activated so no everything's good so I don't know why they don't have it. Uh, it says three four. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because the middle linebacker. I'm gonna put them in right now. That's why I don't have one of the middle linebackers in. I just remember right now. So I'm gonna add them to the budget squad right now, which I totally forgot. I don't know why, but I forgot. But Rascal Douglas is a goon, and he's gonna go up to nice speed once I add. The, let's go ahead and add him real quick. But he's another one though. Got tons of picks with him. Picks. Like, he's goon. So we're gonna add him right here, and we're gonna put Kiko Alonso in the back. So that's the one I didn't add. I don't know why I didn't add him, but here he is right here. So now their stats are going to be more boosted up. So the, he's another one. He's free too. You guys get him right now. So let's add, oh, here we go. Kiko Alonso, there he is. Now we go back. So all those players that you see right there, that was a problem. I didn't add him. And I didn't realize I didn't add him. But yeah, definitely he's going to be added to the budget squad because he's free. Look at that. Now he's 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 agility, 88 man, 90 zone, 85 press. And I'm tired. And, and he's 6 too. And I'm telling you right now, he be making plays out there. I had him on my goon squad for a while. It's just I had so many cornerbacks I got for completing sets that I don't have to have them um, as a starter no more. But if I didn't need, if I needed a cornerback, I definitely would. And with strategy cards, he boosts up even more. And for special teams, you're gonna get this free Zane Gonzalez and this Michael Dixon right here. He's cheap. You guys could get him for very cheap as a punter, and he's actually a real good punter. Now let's go over here to the strategy. I'm gonna add so. Considering the whole budget squad I showed you guys right now, if you guys do want to invest in good, the legendary um, strategy card, I'm going to show you guys how it, how the team will look with these legendary strategy cards, which I would recommend once you guys got enough coinage um, and, your, and your stack is right, or hopefully you pull them to use. If you, if, you, if you don't, then try to find other good budget strategy cards you want to use, but look at how the team is looking with it. Jim Plucker was an 88 overall. He went up to a 90 overall. Ezekiel Ali went up to a, a, a 90 over. I think he was already a 90 overall, right? But yeah, defense, look at the defense. Marshawn Lattimore, Sauce Garner. Look at Rashad Douglas went up to a 90. Harrison Smith went up to an 89. So the team is looking a lot more better. Sauce Garner went up to an 89. So everything is looking a lot more goonish with those strategy cards. You don't have to have them, like I said. If you have them, you could use them. But if not, you can use other ones. There's other like rare ones and there's other um, epic ones too that are not that much you guys can add and it'll juice up your players too right but it's just as an example but anyways there's a budget squad right there like i said I, the reason why i consider this the best one because majority of these players are free and you can go ahead and build it based on what ea has given you and then once you get enough coins then that's when you can buy whatever players you're going to want you don't have to have these exact players but buy the players you're going to want that's really going to make sense for your team this is just more of an affordable team for you guys and it will actually help you go out there and compete but anyways you guys all had to drop a like on the video thank you guys all for tuning in you guys have a nice day i'm out